Eddie Jordan's Scarlet Knights tried to rock the rack as they welcomed the ninth-ranked Iowa Hawkeyes. And for much of the first half, they did just that. Who gives to Peter Chock, who breaks the scoring seal. Why would you leave Peter Jock alone? That's another three and a timeout for Eddie Jordan. He's probably going to ask his guys that same question. After falling behind early, RU found their form and put together a stunning 14-4 run. A good feed by Bishop Daniels to get Rutgers on the board. Greg Lewis connected on a jumper. Omari Greer, who reached double figures for the fifth time this year, scored on the inside. Good cut by Greer. It's a one-point game. You said it, Coach. The energy is there tonight for Rutgers, and Iowa didn't want to get shell-shocked by what Rutgers is doing early. And freshman sensation Corey Sanders helped cut an 11-point deficit down to just one. Sanders got the step, lost the handle, and still recovered for the two. I really love watching Corey Sanders play. Laurent at the rim on the alley-oop and the feed from Greer. The up-tempo first half played nicely into Bishop Daniels' hands as RU tied the game for the first time. Daniels ties the game at 24. Oh, that's a great angle on the feed by Sanders to find Lewis. That's not an easy pass, and he made it. Tie game. And Rutgers took their first lead against the Hawkeyes when Mike Williams scored on a layup. Patient move by Williams, and Rutgers has its first lead of the night. The sophomore guard scored 17 to pace the Scarlet Knights. Giselle for Utah, not a good pass. Some rare Iowa turnovers. Here comes Good, and he finishes with the left hand. Every Rutgers player that has played tonight has scored, and we're tied again. DJ Foreman, who has the ability to flash to the basket, knocked down a floater to tie the ball game at 34. Foreman spinning inside, pretty finish with the left hand. Utah for three, knocks it down. Good the elbow. Offensive rebound for DJ Foreman. Rutgers has hit the offensive glass tonight. Despite trailing by eight at the break, Rutgers hung tough against the tough Hawkeyes early in the second half. And it was Mike Williams who took matters into his own hands. Position or anything, he just needs his feet to be set. Out of the gate, first five in the second half belong to the Scarlet Knights, and they're back within three. That's their first bucket. Nice pass from Laurent. It's like Corey Sanders who leads this team in assists. After Iowa started to pull away, Williams and Greer lit it up from downtown. Top 70 player. There's Mike Williams. To bring the home team back and cut a 17-point deficit down to eight. Another three. And Rutgers is within single digits. Omari Greer. And the rack comes alive. Vocal on defense. You see him out there pointing where to go. Ooh, Laurent, nice finish. Good night for Laurent tonight. Overall, Rutgers shot 48% from the field and scored 76 points, both high watermarks for their Big Ten play this season. Even though the comeback came up short, there were plenty of good things to take away from this battle against an Iowa team which continued its outstanding start in Big Ten play. Case in point, the return of Jonathan Laurent the freshman forward provided a spark with 14 points on 6 of 10 shooting. <laughs>